They don't call me the Flash for nothing. Watch this. Thank you. Thank you. I gave up a promising career in showbiz to be a rocket jockey. <laughs> I can see that. You are definitely a first-rate am. I wish I could get Baron to play like that. Uh, uh, I think I could use a little refreshment. That sounds like a good idea, shall we? How about a couple of hot fruit punches, my good dragon? Glad I didn't ask for a lava toddy. A mongo quake? Come on, Dale. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Over there. Wow. Now that's what I call an earthworm. Only the strongest. These are great specimens. They will provide much sport for IR. That ray really gave me a stiff upper lip. Yeah, and also head, arm, and leg. I see they got you too, old pal. I wonder if Baron and Oro were captured. I'm sure they escaped. Well, then help will be on the way. I don't want to wait that long. I think I'm going to cut my way out of this tin can right now. Well, and how are you going to do that? With this laser pen Zarkov gave me. Don't want to wake the guards. Now, let's see what's out there. Hi, guys. I bet you thought I was trying to escape. Actually, I was looking for a drinking fountain. How was your little vacation? It bottomed out pretty fast. It looks like we're here, wherever that is. Where do you think they're taking us, Flash? Somehow, I get the feeling we're not going to Joyland. I've stayed in cheap hotels before, but this is ridiculous. I am Ior. Welcome to the Cavern City. That must be the man in charge. Easy, Gremlin. Easy. You have been selected to play in the game. I know the citizens of Arborea will prove worthy contestants. And I look forward to seeing you perform in the arena. The game? Arena? What was that guy talking about? I hope the Super Bowl. <laughs> Don't you realize we don't have a moment to lose? Final adjustments have to be made on the engines. Let's go. There are Arborians that need help down there. I 
I hope this group does better than the last group of pathetic beings brought here. Let the game begin. I guess I've been chosen for the first team. Don't get hot around the collar just yet, Gremlin. I'll bring you back a trophy. Don't do anything until I get back. Arborian, you will try and give me a good show, won't you? Uh, let me guess. Uh, we're gonna play a game of tiddlywinks, right? Why do I feel a headache coming on? Uh-oh. This one is doing well. I hope they all last as long. Well, big guy, since you won't listen to reason, I guess I'm gonna have to take you down a couple of notches. Well done! I can see I made you angry. Spectacular! Well, what are you waiting for? Finish him! It's my play now. You dare defy me, Arborian? I promise you, your next visit to the arena will not be nearly as pleasant. Take them both to the dungeon. Flash, you're all right. I got my tail feathers roughed a little, but I'm OK. Why did you spare me? We're men, not boys. Life is too important to be wasted on a game. My name is Athos. My people once ruled the cavern city. Now, we are its principal source of amusement. Hmm. Are there more like you around here? On the other side of the arena, the dungeons are filled with my enslaved people. What this place needs is a little Independence Day party. Right, Athos? Gonna use another laser pen? Nope, my pink friend here. Okay, Gremlin, do you think you can burn through this lock? Ah, oh, sure you can. Come on, give it a try. Come on, Grim, we're counting on you. This time, I want you to take a deep, deep breath. This time, we're really going to go for it. All right, now. Follow me. You can do it, Gremlin. I know you can. A little more. That's it. Go for it! That's just the way I like it, Gremlin. Well done. Let's do it. Now we have to get you boys out of here. Let me help. Uh, uh. Now we will take back the city. comes trouble. The cowards! Look, Baron! Capture him! All right, guys, it's over. Throw down your weapons. Do as he says. We have regained the city from this day forward. 
The game is abolished forever! Well, it looks like the cavalry finally got here. You're just in time to give us a ride home. What do we do with this fellow? Ask Athos. He's the new boss around here. I all will stand trial for his crimes. You saved my life and my city, and I don't even know your name. My friends call me Flash Gordon, and you, my man, are definitely one of my friends. For what you did for my people, Flash Gordon, you will always be a welcome friend in the Cavern City. Uh-oh, look at our little friend over there. <laughs> well, Gremlin, I hate to say it, but it looks like you are not a hot shot anymore. <laughs> A weapon that will destroy our Borea. And the beauty of it is, they'll never know where it came from. When will the synthetic meteor be ready, Enoch? Momentarily. Once launched, its inner spore will come to life. And thus the end of our Borea and Flash Gordon. <laughs> Trim your retro stabilizers. Thank you. I can handle it without your advice. I was just trying to be helpful. You were trying to tell me how to fly the simulator. Watch this. Gee, Dale, I'm sorry if men are just better at some things. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Lots of things. But I haven't found any yet. That was no simulation. That was a real collision. Well, let's not stand here. Please, stand back. The meteor is still quite hot. So that's what rocked Arborea. It's amazing a meteor that size ever got through the atmosphere and our defense shields. It really is an oddity. I'm having it taken to the Science Museum for study. There's the Sky Crane now. commotion in here. What? Oh!
seen anything like it. Get a light on top of that building. Baron, clear the area. Post guards and move everyone else back. Tell those guards, whatever they do, don't get that thing angry. Redesigning this hover tank with a carbonite disc was smart thinking, Flash. I just hope it works against that space octopus. How long will it be before Zarkov finishes analyzing that meteor? He says the soonest he will be finished will be tomorrow. That thing's not gonna go away by itself. Dale, you up to chauffeuring this one? Are you sure you can stand a woman driver? <laughs> Nobody asked you for an opinion. <laughs> Good luck, you two. We need more than luck. Shall we? Hold on, guys. Here we go. Sounds like it hasn't had breakfast yet. How about we give it a large helping of Corbinite? Just what I had in mind. Our guest is clamoring for service. Let's give it to him. The Corbinite didn't even put a dent in that thing. Everybody off! But now we've got a bigger problem, him. After the Corbinite Ray, the only thing left to throw at that creature is the kitchen sink. Corbinite is the most powerful force on Mongo, but it's not enough. Zarkov's report is finished. Well, what does it say? Dr. Zarkov says it can't be stopped. What? Let me see that. It says here that our friend out there is a synthetic plant with a silicone base. No wonder the Corbinite can't hurt it. It's made of sand. It also says that both the meteor and the creature are made from a silicone base that's only found in one place on Mongo, the Magnetic Mountains. Now, who do we know that lives in the Magnetic Mountains? Ming! You've got it. But how could Ming create it? Zarkov's working on the answer to that now. All he knows for sure is it was delivered by the meteor. Wait a minute. You've got something there. What are you talking about? Delivered. If we can't fight it, maybe we can deliver it out of Arborea. But how? What's the biggest cargo ship we've got? The Galactic Sky Train. But how are we going to get it into the cargo bay of the Sky Train? That's your job. My job will be flying it out of this galaxy. Are we ready to get Operation Stork underway? We're ready here, Flash. <laughs> We're ready on this end, too. Well, let's get this show on the road. to make it follow us. It's taking the bait. Keep firing, Aura. Dale, we're almost in your sector. Get ready. Get ready, Flash. We're about 
make the delivery. That's it. Come on board. You and I are gonna take a little ride. to drop you off somewhere in the Milky Way. So far, so good. I'm climbing into the stratosphere now, and whoops, maybe I spoke too soon. What's going on up there? It seems our friend doesn't like riding in the cargo hold. I've lost power. You're going off course. Slight alteration in plan, though. I wasn't able to get our friend out into space. It's back on Mongo? Don't worry. The Sky Train went down over the magnetic mountains. You mean... That's right. Ming will have to watch out for his own pet from now on. <laughs> <laughs>